Our it's about uh, 26 minutes past the top of the hour. Our discussion begins right now. The two seats are empty. Mark, when yes. will the studio? I impeached them. Oh, they're not coming. <laughs> they're impeached. They didn't tell they, me. You didn't hear? No. There was a Senate hearing already. And they are not coming. No, no, the seats remain. The seats remain because Mark Bichachi, Joshua Kipto, and uh, Professor Fred Ogola are joining us. And Mark, thank you so much for coming. Anytime. You know, I had to make good my promise. Yes. You, you had did. to come tonight. Yes. Because you are very confident yes. on uh, Monday night yes. that regarding Gashago is going to be impeached. Yes. Where do you draw your confidence? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, let me tell you. When the clouds gather and they darken, it must rain. Now, there's something that this country needs to understand about President William Ruto is that when he makes a decision, he will follow through. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing you can count on him to do. About the president? About the president. But the president never spoke about this at all, man. He does not need to. He that needs is, to. That, that is the effect of his power. That is the genius of his power. You see, he is so confident in his political control over parliament that he needed to press a button, one button, one call in State House, and hundreds of MPs... That's agree. not right. It is. It's not right, right for democracy. It, no, but that's how democracies work. No, no, let's, but let's you can't remember. say the president is so in control of parliament that he presses a button and parliament but runs to piss his feet. That is the desire of any political leader in the presidency. To have a majority to in the National majority Assembly and the in Senate. The House, and in the Senate to be able to do what you want. Please remember, when Kibaki was running for his second term, mm -hmm. one of his greatest Achilles heel is that PNU did not have a majority in parliament. ODM had a majority exactly. in parliament then. That is why that coalition had to be made, even if Kibaki wanted to do whatever. So, uh, politically speaking, and I said on this show on Monday, that William Ruto has never lost a political contest. And he was not going to lose and this one, according to, to you. Mm. And also, at the same time, look, what are the options? Regardless he survives, then he's a pain in the presidency for the next three years. He is already uh, 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 talking about Adani. He is already talking about, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 the SHIF. He's talking about the, the uh, uh, extrajudicial killings. He's talking about abductions. Totally out of turn of what the president's and the government's position is. It is an untenable situation for the country. I mean, you can't imagine, because we have to look at, uh, we have to look at this uh, chronologically, how it has happened. Uh, Mark, you can't imagine yeah. a government based on what Rigadi Gashagwa said on Monday night. Yes. I mean, he was so checked on Tuesday, yesterday in yes. Parliament, based on what he said on Monday night, yes. how do you have these two gentlemen yes. in one government? Yes, it is how? impossible. You see, let me tell you, the day your wife, God forbid, comes out and airs your dirty linen day one, start packing your bags. It's done. That's a stronger statement than divorce. The moment the deputy, let's start here, the deputy president had the girl the temerity to hold a press conference after the president had spoken in during Mombasa, a moment the 20th, of crisis yes when he's in a different town from his boss when there's a crisis that's one mm -hmm. then he says that the nis is clueless so we we need to forget that we've not had terrorists terrorists attacking us so nis it's doing its work the security apparatus has kept Kenya safe for the last two years. We've not had such issues. So they are working. But according to Riga... No, but we've had banditry in some parts of the country. Which has reduced. But we've had banditry. We've had banditry. We've but, had. But security has improved in this country, honestly. Honestly, it is better. Every indicator. Listen, when was the last time we had a terror attack in this country? That is not the measure. No, the measure of a good watchman is the absence of theft. Not really. Yes. Not really. There's so much work that <laughs> they do. No, no, no. Just the, listen, preventing the thing them, about defining them. The, the thing about defining security yes. is the absence of insecurity. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, when the deputy president was saying that, it was at a time one when, first, you are exposing the president and saying he has no clue about what is happening in the country. Did he say that? Yeah, that's what he said. 
Did he say that? He said that. No, I think he said that they misadvised the president. They didn't well, advise the president point. properly. That means that the president does not have a clue. That means the people indicted Listen, are not providing information. Listen, that's the point. Yes. If you are leading this show mm -hmm. and the person in your ear is not advising you, it means you have no clue of how to run the show. No, it means he has no clue. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> you see the point? Yes. So after that, you can see a train wreck happening yeah right mm -hmm. number two you know in his defense every company and every piece of property either belonged to his dead brother his kids or his wife that or is exactly yes that is exactly how corruption is done that is exactly how corruption is done you give it to your kids Otherwise, how do you tell me kids between 23 and 30 can go to a bank and secure 600 million debt? Hey, can you, you, secure, and can I, you and I are trying to increase our Fuliza limit today. <laughs> to 40,000. To 40,000. <laughs> and, and we, we can't can get it. it. Yeah. But someone who's 23 and 30 years old can go to the bank and get 600 million. Uh, not an impeachable offense. It's not a crime to be able to go to the bank and get a loan, man. It, listen, one of the biggest things we have in this country is corruption happens and we never know who does it. And for me, mm -hmm. as long as the broom is sweeping, and it is sweeping one area of corruption, let it sweep. And I hope the next day it is a governor. I hope the next day it's an MP. We should make it very easy to politically deal with people who are seen to be corrupt in this country. Okay. So you expected the outcome from the National Assembly. Yes. I didn't expect to see 282 <laughs> members of parliament <coughs> voting. Yes. 282. 44 of them saying no. Yes. 282 saying yes. One abstaining. Yes. Right? How big was this thing? Was this something that demonstrates that parliament can indeed be independent? But when I listen to you, yes. I hear parliament is in control, a uh, president is in control of parliament. That's what I hear. I don't hear the independence of parliament. So the people who are arguing tonight, Mark, that this was an impartial hearing, it was not fair, their minds were decided, they had made their decision beforehand, you're lending credence to their arguments. Let's start here. The biggest shock is not 282. The biggest shock is 44. Well, yes. Okay, explain. This is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Number one, the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa has unfortunately not been able to build on his political capital in the last two years. Mm -hmm. He did not go to parliament and get betrayed by his friends because he has no friends. You see, it is not Mark is being impeached, Ken is my friend, I call you Ken and I say, Ken, please don't let me be impeached. How many friends did Rigadi Gashago have? That's in parliament, 44. They're not even 44, they're sympathizers. They're not his friends. So his political capital in this country, very little. Number two, even in the eyes of the public, when polls are done, even uh, the news that you shared two days ago, majority of Kenyans wanted Rigadi Gashagwa to go home. So even his own popularity is waning. Number two, number three rather, Let's remember, Donald Trump was guilty as sin twice and was impeached twice. While in office? Yes. And once out of office? Yes. Mm -hmm. When he was impeached, what saved him? His political party. The Republicans GOP. had a majority. Mm -hmm. yeah. Telling you that in such matters, the parties that are in coalition against you will vote to a man to remove you. And okay. that is exactly how it should be. Okay. This we'll discuss in the second hour. And we have about two minutes. And I see Prof is already here. Prof, good evening. Good evening. Mark just told me you're not coming for the show. He impeached you. <laughs> no, he, 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 he has a super majority. No, he has no majority. No, he has a majority. <laughs> He's been here. I just saw so, him in a red beret. Eh, oh, yeah. With, with, with Bob and Jackie. A very sad yes. story indeed yes. that we should mention. Now that we have two minutes exactly, I will not ask you about uh, this because we are coming. Kipto is already also in the building. But yes. we're taking a break. Just in two minutes, your summary of what happened to Bob and Jackie.
Just in two minutes, I'll take a break. Yeah, Bob Njagi was abducted just because of the fact that we are trying to collect signatures to free Kenya just about the issue of the economic thing. And you know, being put in chambers, I can register there must be some torture, nyayo torture-like chambers within the country where someone can be kept for 32 days. Mm -hmm. He said for the first three days he was surviving on water only. He was never After given the food. third day is when he started getting uh, breakfast mm -hmm. and lunch only. Mm -hmm. And then he was in a room just with something like a bucket for toilet. Mm -hmm. And he was bl by blindfolded for all those days, dark room for all that time. Of course, what is interesting how he was released. He was released by some people just picking him, blindfolding, putting him in the car, then driving around with him, then telling him, now we're going to release you. But as soon as we leave you, don't remove the, 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 the cover of your face. Mm -hmm. Stay there until you disappear. Then they left him. And uh, for me, what is sad is that how important was this abduction that led to the sentencing of an acting inspector general? For me, that is the big, is the most answered. Answer, how answer important question. was Bob Njagi yes. to them? Yes. But the issue here was that the Bob Njagi was leading the Kitengela demonstrations okay. that also came to town on that day. We're in town on 25th. Mm -hmm. I know Kitengela demonstrations were very massive. At the same time, they were agitating for the issue of amending the constitution to liberate Kenyans, uh, let's say economically, and that's why they were called Free Kenya Movement. And actually, you cannot ignore just Bob Jaggi, but we also there. have the Longton brothers, yes. Asle and Jamin. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, they'll be here at Standard tomorrow, I hear. Yeah. I'm hearing rumors, mm -hmm. and they'll talk for themselves. But for me, it was very sad. And today, even the policeman was stopping us from having a press statement. We went to an hotel, they came, surrounded us. We went to another hotel called Galaxy. When we finished the press statement, the place was full with the policemen, with the tear gas. And they didn't throw tear gas, but there were very many. Okay. Then we went up for lunch. Also, they came there. I don't know what is so wrong, but I think there's something like no media briefing. Just apart from the there must be a new law in town. Okay. No media briefing. All right. Gentlemen, stick around. And uh, Kipto is already sitting. Kipto, good evening. I had you impeached by Mark. <laughs> he said you're not coming. All right, gentlemen, stay with us. We are back in a moment.